Hello, in today's video we got a side window that's not working and I'll be showing you how to diagnose if that's a problem with your window switch or the window motor. And here we are at the master switch and this one works. Works. No work. Works. So it looks like our driver's side rear is the window that's not working. But we always want to eliminate the basics. So this main switch usually has a lockout and you want to make sure that that's not engaged. But that locks out only the individual switches from working, so that wouldn't be our problem here. Now if the switch didn't want to work at the rear switch, then we'd want to look here to make sure that this isn't engaged. Now we're here at the driver's side rear switch, and here we can verify that it still doesn't work. And if it did work at this switch, then we'd assume that we have a problem with our main switch. Well now we'll have to remove this plastic piece that houses our switch. And this one's held on by two screws and a clip. Remove these two screws with a Phillips head screwdriver. Now lift the bezel and the clip should just release. For these next steps, I'll be using a test light, but you can also use a voltmeter. Just this way is a lot quicker. The way this test light works is, when you probe into something and you get a 12 volt battery signal, the light illuminates, telling you that it's getting voltage, but also needs the ground to complete the circuit so that's why we connect it to a good metal source. For these tests, you'll also want to make sure that the ignition switch is still switched on. First, we'll want to probe into the connection, looking for the main power wire, which will usually be the bigger colored wire, in this case, the yellow wire. If we do get power at this point, then we know our problem is after this point. If this wire was not getting power, then we'd want to trace the problem back to possibly the wiring before the switch, or if there's an independent fuse for each switch. So if we weren't getting power, we'd want to look in our owner's manual and look under the fuse section and try to find fuses for the window motor. And here we go, fuse 42. So for this truck, it only has one fuse powering all the window motors. So that would mean all the window motors wouldn't work if this fuse was blown. But the way to tell if this fuse was blown, it would have a gap where that little metal strip in the middle is. But if you did have a problem where you're losing signal, the main place I would look is here at the door jam wiring connection. Now back to testing our switch. What we want to do now is locate the window motor signal wires, which will be the signal for the motor to go up and the signal for the motor to go down. At every wire coming out of the connector, I press the switch up and down. And as you can tell, I have located one of the signal wires. Now to find the signal wire for the motor to go up. And it looks like this is the other signal wire for the motor to go up. So here's what we're looking at. The blue and brown wires are the signal wires for our window motor. And the switch is sending both signals to the motor. Verifying that our switch is good and is not the problem. Now if one of the signals was missing, then we know we have a problem with our switch. Another thing you can do is try to switch on the other side, in this case the passenger side rear. And as we try to switch down and then up, we can hear that it works properly. Further verifying that the switch is good. Taking off the door panel, we'll want to disconnect the connector to the window motor to make sure that the signal is actually reaching the motor. After disconnecting it, we can also notice the colors of the wires, which is an easy way to find which colors are the signal wires on the switch. So if you prefer to avoid probing and just remove the door panel from the start. Here's the same blue and brown wires that go to the motor connector. So now to test the signal if it's reaching the motor. Try in one terminal to make sure it lights up one way. Now the other the opposite way. And with that, we can confirm that our problem is our window motor. It's getting signal from the switch. It's just not operating. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If so, please click that thumbs up button to support my video and my channel. And please subscribe if you haven't done so.